hello hello welcome to another video today i am working on my kids playroom i wanted to make it over just a little bit there wasn't a whole lot that needed to be done my daughter's there on the hoverboard um, but i wanted to switch out this shelf and then switch out some of the toys that were on the shelves So I'm putting the toys in these baskets because I wanted the playroom to feel Waldorf inspired. My two older kids go to a Waldorf school, so I wanted to incorporate that a little bit more at home. I'm just gonna set these up here for now. So there we go. Okay, so this is what we're working with so far. I don't hate it, but we'll see. And then this is what the rest of the playroom looks like. kids go to a Waldorf school and I'm looking for artwork for my walls in the playroom I figured why not use stuff that they've made so this is the first one that I framed my son made this one I just think it's so pretty and it looks so good framed and matted I just wanted to throw this out there. My kids were totally okay with me cutting their artwork so I could frame it. It was not a big deal, so don't worry. Okay, so these are the three that I chose and I'm going to hang them on the wall. I am so excited for the kids to see these. They're gonna be so excited. with how it turned out okay so this is our playroom it is right off of our kitchen it's supposed to be the dining area but it's carpet and I we needed a playroom more than a dining room so the table in the middle the table and chairs my dad made and my dad also made this um, toy box so inside the toy box we have our bounce house and then some of uh, my son's bigger trucks that don't fit in his bins because he loves trucks. And then over here, this basket is all um, dress up and doctor and fireman and you know, make believe stuff. I did want the playroom to be Waldorf inspired because I'm trying to do kind of like a Waldorf at home, preschool at home type thing. Um, which is really just having the toys available and then like going outside and stuff like that. So these are the toys that we have out right now. We will rotate some of them, but also everything is in baskets because it's very Waldorf. So in this one, we just have figures. These are just ones that my kids actually play with the most often. And then I have this little bowl with pine cones and stones and shells and wood. Um, 
they can do whatever they want with this stuff, but a lot of times they'll add it to their little, um, it's not a dollhouse, but like a fairy house type thing. And then this kaleidoscope. And then in here we have these locks um, and they come with keys. I'm gonna do um, like an Amazon educational toy haul pretty soon. So you'll be able to see more of those in that video, but they're really fun. Like you match up, you match up the key to the lock. And then on the next shelf, I have another bowl with these stacking stones. Again, these will be in my haul, but you just stack them up. Um, and then we've got our little rainbow here with some peg people. I don't know where all the peg people went. And then my son made this in kindergarten because he does go to, or both of my older kids go to a Waldorf school. So that was a project that he did in kindergarten. He sewed the hat and the shirt. And then in this basket here, we have these, these are like these little stones that you stack and then they come with cards. They come with cards that kind of guide you and challenge you to do certain, put them in like, like stack them in a certain way or create different designs. And then on the bottom shelf, we just have some lacing beads. Um, this is great for my three-year-old. He really needs to work on his fine motor skills. Um, and this is great for that. And my six-year-old loves it too. This basket next to the shelf, we have all of our magnet tiles and apparently Peppa Pig. Is that Mommy Pig or Peppa? Mommy Pig. Mommy Pig and somebody else is down there. Peppa. Peppa. Um, Cooper likes making houses and cars for Peppa and her family. So these are the only magnet tiles we have. I know some people have like a million magnet tiles, but I feel like that would just be too crazy. This sometimes gets a little out of hand. So this is more than enough for us. And then in this basket here, we have all the play food for the kitchen. This is the easiest way to store it for us. And then we have our play kitchen here. We got this kitchen at our local consignment store for $90. It was the kitchen and then a million accessories. There was so much stuff that came with this. And it was like Melissa and Doug's stuff and it was a really good deal. So that's the kitchen. And then above it, um, you saw me hang these. It's my kids' artwork. I just feel like my kids are so talented. <laughs> I just think it looks so pretty and it's so Waldorf and it makes my heart happy. So that is our playroom. And there's Coop. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later. If you have any questions on where anything's from or any questions at all, um, just leave them down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Okay, thanks guys, bye.